A good morning. I'm Angela Poe Russell from Evening, guest hosting New Day's annual holiday gift idea show. You like that music in the background? It is always a fun way to kick off the holiday season. And even though things are going to look a lot different this year, we hope that the show in some small way can help you get creative or perhaps just be a respite. And this first story is perfect for that. It's some awesome holiday entertainment. The Netflix film Holiday starring Emma Roberts is this runaway success hitting number one on the platform in 87 countries. Well, the writer and executive producer of the holiday hit grew up right here in Washington and hopes to bring a little more Hollywood back to the Northwest. Take a look. I am done casually dating on the holidays. There's way too much pressure. It's ridiculous. Try being the only single person left in your family. Rodney said you didn't call him. You didn't call Rodney? Why didn't you call Rodney? Why didn't you call Rodney? Because I already have a boyfriend. Tiffany, I have to confess, you know, I only got married a little more than a year ago. So I spent many years single and I found this movie so relatable, scary relatable. Oh my <laughs> so, God. <laughs> so I have to imagine you bring some experiences into it. I mean, how did you get the idea for Holiday? Just a little, the perpetual single girl in my family, still the single girl in my family coming home for far too many holidays. Uh, alone. <laughs> Isn't it great? It's my holiday. What? A date solely for the holiday. No commitment. So how did you decide to write about it? You know, I originally had the idea I wanted to do, I love the idea of, of a touchstone movie about relationships that were the couple just met on holidays. And I had started with the idea of a long distance relationship movie. And then I think somebody beat me to the idea, but I knew the hook was really strong of just following the course of a relationship over the course of a year. And then again, being the perpetual single girl on every holiday, I was like, mm, I think there's something here. I want you to find someone who has real potential. Not this holiday <laughs> crap like your aunt. She seems like she's having fun. She's going to die alone in a wheelchair and a diaper. So thank you for writing the movie. It was so good. And I, I love that you kind of push the limits on what people feel like a holiday movie should sound like in terms of it was a bit edgy. We like to say it's the anti-Hallmark. It's still got, you know, the hallmarks of the Hallmark. But yeah, we definitely pushed the envelope a little bit. And uh, uh, a lot of that has been well received, <laughs> and I and I have to admit to getting a few emails going. Did you mean to say that? So many times? But uh, yeah, I think it's got something for everyone. No, not me, not me. I'm not good with blood. You know this, or cars, or blood. It has to be so tough trying to do movies in the middle of a pandemic, and but you're staying pretty busy. Oh my gosh, I have been so fortunate. I've been I've been really busy. I'm doing two other movies for Netflix, one of which I'm, I, I am directing, I'm really excited about. And my plan, if everything pans out, is to shoot it in the Northwest. That's what I'm really looking forward to. We would love that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I'm doing that. I'm writing a big uh, holiday musical for Netflix. I'm attached to a couple of other smaller movies to direct. And you're being so humble because, as I understand it, one of the projects you're working on is with Kenny Ortega, and he's behind what, High School Musical? All the High School Musicals, all the Descendants movies. He's got Julie and the Phantoms on Netflix right now, which is just My amazing. kids watch that. He is an icon, and I am so, like, I was such a geeky fan of his work. It's based on the New York Times best-selling books, Auntie Claus. It has been announced, so it's not top secret, but it's gonna be a really fun, exciting holiday Christmas musical for Netflix that uh, Kenny's gonna direct and hopefully choreograph, and we're very excited. And so, what's it like for you, because you're from Kashmir, you know, from the Pacific Northwest, and you're living this Hollywood life, what's that been like? Definitely a, a change, leaving my little sweet hometown of Kashmir and coming down to Los Angeles. I still go home as much as I can. My whole family is still there in Washington and Oregon. Like I said, I will always be a Northwest girl. And you used to own a coffee shop around here? <laughs> I did, in my youth. It was, I had a little coffee house in Seattle. It was at the bottom of Queen Anne Hill. It was very cute and fun. It was called Cinema Espresso, and it was decorated like an old 1930s movie lobby, and we made the best, still to this day, hands down the best coffee. I love it. So you had your own coffee shop to basically save enough money to go to LA 
to be an actress. You go to LA and somehow things change a little bit. You get on the writing end. What was your big break? You know, my big break was really, I ended up writing a script, not really knowing what I was doing, um, but just on a whim, put it in the mail and sent it to ABC and Disney do a writing fellowship, which is still one of the most prestigious fellowships in the industry. And I ended up winning the writing fellowship and thought, hmm, maybe I should uh, give this writing thing a try. Okay, so we have to go back to the movie for a minute, uh, Holiday. I have to know for you, which holiday is the one that you're like, I really would like to have a date for. Is there one in particular that's the hardest that you're like, oh, I'd love to have a date for that? Well, for me, it was always Christmas. Christmas, yes. Christmas, well, Christmas, yes. But for me, I would have to say New Year, only because mm -hmm. there is the inevitable kiss at, at midnight, and you're when you're standing there alone or with your, you know, would has been me far too often, your best guy friend who's so sweet, but you know, perhaps not the guy you're dreaming of, of kissing at midnight. I think there's, having the optimism of having that date on New Year's Eve is would probably be my first thing. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> well, Tiffany, thank you so much for being with us. Congrats on the movie, and we can't wait to see what is coming out next. Thank you so much for having me. It was so fun. Thank you. Oh, that was so cool. Tiffany's movie, Holiday, is streaming now on Netflix. And just for fun, there is a Which Holiday Character Are You quiz on BuzzFeed. We've linked that on our website so you can take it. I got Abby, which will make more sense once you've seen the movie. <laughs> well, ahead on our gift ideas special, the top tech gift to give and receive this holiday season when it comes to smartphones. Plus, the season's most popular toys that aren't super expensive. And you might want to get your phone out because we are handing out holiday cheer with a fun text giveaway right after this.